Okay, so uh, here we are being asked to integrate the function integral 0 to pi by 2 sine 2x into tan inverse sine x dx. Now this integral we can write it as 0 integral 0 to pi by 2 2 sine x cos x into tan inverse of sine x dx. So now here if we if we take here if we put uh, sine x equal to t then uh, we will get cos x dx will be equal to dt. So uh, and when x is going from 0 to pi by 2 so t should go from sine 0 to sine pi by 2. So it should go from 0 to 1. So this integral can be written as uh, 2 into integral 0 to 1. Uh, now sine x that is t, t into tan inverse t and this cos x dx we should write it as dt. So now here we can apply the integration by parts here. Uh, since here we have to use the eyelet rule. So according to the eyelet rule, it is inverse logarithmic algebraic trigonometric exponential. So here we have inverse function and the algebraic function. So we should choose the inverse function as the first function and the algebraic one as the second function. So let's tell this integral is i. So therefore this integral i is equal to 2 into integral 0 to 1 t into tan inverse of t dt. So this can be written as 2 into um, this will be so this is first function so you should write tan inverse of t into integral t dt minus integral d by dt of tan inverse t into integral t dt whole integral dt and it is going from 0 to 1. So now that will be equal to 2 into um, integral t dt is t square by 2. So it will be t square by 2 tan inverse of t minus d by dt of tan inverse t is um, 1 by 1 plus t square and integral t dt is t square by 2. So it will be t square by 2 into 1 plus t square into dt. This we have to integrate from 0 to 1. <clears throat> so this will be it. So 2 I can from here half will come outside as common. So half into 2 will be 1 only. So this will be t square into tan inverse of t inverse t minus this we can write it as uh, t square plus 1 minus 1 into dt by t square plus 1 integral and it will go from 0 to 1. So this will be equal to t square into tan inverse of t t square into tan inverse of t then minus this is integral dt and minus of minus is plus so it will be plus integral dt by 1 plus t square. It will go from 0 to 1. So this will be t square into tan inverse of t minus integral dt is t plus integral dt by 1 plus t square is tan inverse t. That will go from 0 to 1. So this we can write it as t square plus 1 into tan inverse of t minus t. So this will go from 0 to 1. So uh, if we put 1, this, this will be um, 1 plus 1 that is 2. So 2 tan inverse of 1 that is pi by 4 minus 1. Then minus if you put 0 here, this will be 0 square. Then tan inverse 0 is 0 only. So this will be 0. So this will be 
pi by 2 minus 1. So this is your final answer. Thank you.